Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on Let's Walk Around Stockholm. Another day, another walk, you know it. And finally today is the day I have been wanting to do this video for a very very long time. Um, today I'm gonna do a video that's requested by quite a few people which is a full tour of the whole central station i've done a video on central station before but today we're going to do the extended version and i don't think no one's ever done this before we're going to go everywhere so when i say central station i actually mean a combination of four different buildings one city terminal which is the bus station two stockholm central station which is where the trains go from Stockholm to all around Sweden. Three, Stockholm City, the new Pendeltog train station, which is located under Central Station, which is for commuter trains within Stockholm. And four, which is the Tunnelbana, aka Centralen, T Centralen. So it's basically a full tour of all four buildings. So yeah, let's uh, let's let's start walking because this is quite of a quite of a video, people. So we start off here at the Stockholm bus terminal, Terminalen, and as you can see here, you have all the buses going um, both to the airport and Gothenburg, and even you can even take the bus to Norway if you want to. <laughs> I cannot recommend doing that, but anyway. So let's start with building number one, which is the bus terminal let's go around here and go inside and let's see if we can go to all the corners today right so all the three layers of central station um, the green line the blue line the red line the trains the international trains everything let's go onto the tracks let's look at the machines how to buy tickets we're gonna do it all today so I think this is going to be a bit of a long video. Let's see how far we can get. So first I have to get inside the bus terminal, which is already a little bit of a challenge, I would say. I don't know how I get in there. but I think I probably already walked too far. This is not starting great. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Oh, well, this is a good starting point. City Terminal and Central Stachun. Let's do this. Oh, it's in there. There's the entrance. Found it. Hidden behind the bus. So, how's everyone doing? How the chat gang is doing uh, great. Shout out to the chat gang and my members. So I've looked online, I did some research, and no one's ever done this video before. So this is really a first. There's nothing like this on YouTube, so follow along, folks. <laughs> All right. Okay, it doesn't let me in, or does it? Okay, this is not starting too great because I can't go in. Oh, here. All right, building number one. The bus station. So here we've got all the gates and all the buses leaving. Let's see where they're going. Oh, mainly in the airport. Uppsala. Gothenburg, etc., etc. So usually the people are queuing up here in front of the bus. Got some lockers here on the left side. So you can safely, you know, store your things. I don't know how much it costs. Let me check it out. It is. Oh, so it's 199 crowns for. A uh, dung, as we call it in uh, in Swedish, a dung means 24 hours. So dung is day and night. 
So let's say if you rent a locker at 4 p.m., you know, you have it until 4 p.m. the next day. So here we have bus tickets to the airport. You can buy them here, uh, both to Skovsta Airport, Broma Airport, Westeros Airport and Alanda Airport. Um, yeah, cool. So four different airports. But most of you will land from either Arlanda or Skavsta. So those are the two main ones. It's always a bit tricky because it's sometimes called Skavsta Airport, like Stockholm Airport. But it's actually like more than an hour drive from Stockholm. So yeah, <laughs> it's a bit tricky. So here you can change some money, um, which is not super relevant in Stockholm because almost everything is actually uh, paying by card. In Sweden so yeah changing to Swedish crowns in 2022 eh, not too sure if that's uh, very uh, necessary so here as well you have the big sign where you can see all the buses you, up there you can sit it's actually quite nice up here check it out it's very high ceiling well makes me a bit dizzy if I look up there wonderful staircases yeah, nice and futuristic. All right, so here you got the waiting area. If you want to buy tickets um, for the metro, for example, you can buy them here at Presbyron. Because some people, they go and stand in line at official ticket offices. But it's actually faster if you just go to one of these places. They both sell the blue cards that you need, but also like separate tickets and things like that. So, yeah. You can have a cup of coffee. And here you got all the train departures. So here you can do two things, right? You can go into the central station or you can go outside here and cross the street. So first let's let's cross the street here and check it out, the view of Central Stagoon, the other building. So when you get out, you got the taxi stand here, both on this side and on the other side. Um, I've said it before, I can really recommend taking Taxi Stockholm. Um, it's the most reliable and they also have fixed prices for everything. So if you take a taxi, um, take Taxi Stockholm and then you say like, oh, I have to go to, for example, the airport. What is your fixed price? And they always give you a price so you know what to expect and uh, all that kind of things. Um, so yeah, you can also walk around the building here. So if you get out, you don't have to go inside. You can go like this and then you can walk to the, to the bus station. So across the street, it says central station. You can go in here, you can go in there, or you can go in on that side. Next to the city terminal, We have the World Trade Center, not to be confused <laughs> with, um, with the one in New York, but our own World Trade Center. So it's basically in the same building as uh, the bus terminal. So it's in here, as you can see up there, <laughs> up there. So let's see where am I going now. Let's cross the street first and check out the other entrance. So there was building number one, the bus station. I have to do this video a bit analytical, right? I need a plan. I know I always say, oh, I don't have a plan. Well, in this video kind of need a plan, otherwise I'm not going to cover everything. All right, so when you get out and you want to go to the city, that way, Segostoy, um, the main square, and even another entrance all the way there from Central Station, but we do that one last. First, we're going to check out the bird's view here. So, the main entrance of Central Station is over there. This is the front side, um, another taxi stand down there. So taxi stand one there, 
taxi stand two and three over there. So there's two different levels, upper level and down level. See? So whatever you do, never take a taxi outside the main, um, the main queue, right? Because otherwise you get ripped off. It's the same in every country. Never stop taxis just outside of Central Station. Over there, there's two more entrances. It says Tier Central in Stockholm City and a J and a T over there. The J stands for train, the T stands for Tunnelbana, aka Metro. So across the street, two different entrances and the main entrance and the fountain of Central Station and at the back you see Nordstedt. All right, let's go back here. And let's take the upper level here first and the central hall. All righty. Okay, Central Station. All right, there's some music here, so let's keep on talking before I getting problems with copyright music. -la 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 -la. Little singing, don't do that, Daniel. That's not a good idea. So yeah, so here you can go in here, but let's not do that. Let's go in there. So if you want to know basically what's the difference between the trains within Sweden or the trains within Stockholm, it's quite easy. They're on a different level. So trains within Stockholm are downstairs in the basement and the trains within Sweden are above it. It's so super simple. Can't miss it. So if you're thinking, where am I? I want to go to Stockholm, take the elevator down. Rest in Sweden, take the elevator up. So we're up now. Okay. Alrighty, so we found the first hole here. Another espresso house, a nice waiting area. So here on the screen, it's actually a mix of two things. It's trains within Stockholm and trains without, outside of Stockholm. You see the different tracks here and things like that. So let's go in here. So here, if you want, you can go straight to the platform, but not really any need for that right now. Let's go into the station. So here we have more lockers. So we're at the upper level now. And here you, we have the back side of the station. Let's check out the view. So here you got the big conference, the Radisson Blue Waterfront Hotel. And here another view, the train tracks. All right, let's go back in. So here is quite nice. Here you have a playing area for children. That's quite cool actually. So if you have some time spare, it's like, see it has a cool little children's theme here. Alphonse Orbay. Nice, nice. Alphonse Orbay is like a, a Swedish character, children's character. Um, so here is also quite interesting. I'm not sure if it's here, but I think there's a police station here as well. So if you have some problems at Central Station, you can go to the police. Yeah, it's here. So here's a little police office here. That's quite nice. See, so here, if you have any problems, it's open. It's nine o'clock to four o'clock in the afternoon. It's open. So yeah, 
Check that out if you need it, but I hope you really don't need it. All right, so now we arrived here at the view of the hall. So we're upstairs here now in the main hall. So right now they got a voting station over there. So that's where you can vote. Actually, it's time to vote for me today. So I'm going to vote and look how beautiful the hall looks. I like the light going like that. Um, yeah, I'll say let's not waste any time and let's go downstairs. I know you all love a good bit of stairs, so we. So here there's many shops. Not not very cool shops though. It's just the general, you know, shops. Actually, I forgot one thing. See, almost forget it. The fast train, the Arlanda Express, the fast train to the airport. Let, let's go there first before we go into the main hall. So here we got elevators, <laughs> some seating, and actually here is one of the few Starbucks that we have in Stockholm. Starbucks is not a big thing. So yeah, and here you got a lot of eating options, and but it's all a bit overpriced. I cannot recommend you eating here got a lot of fast food and things like that I would say if you in Sweden you know go for the Swedish experience okay so let's go to the airport train which is kind of building number five I would almost say it's like in the basement of the bus terminal but yeah it's kind of option five see because here we can go up to the bus the city terminal and so let's check out the airport train so it basically goes every 15 minutes right it's called the Arlanda Express so make sure you're going to the right airport when you take this one Cool. I'm not gonna go all the way down there because otherwise this will be a two hour video. But anyway, all these people are coming from the airport shuttle. And there's machines in that building over there in front of us. You can see the ticket machines over there. And there's also a toilet in there. Super important. Oh, speaking of toilets, I'll show you the main toilet building in here as well. Because that's the first thing you got to do when you come from a long journey, train or bus. You got a wee, right? If you got to go, you got to go, folks. All right. So here you can go to the tracks to the right. That's not where we're going. We'll check out the main hall. Especially when I get to the um, metro. It's going to be a little bit puzzled to see if I can go. I can go everywhere because it's a bit of a maze over there. It's not really a maze if you know where you're going. Or if you just randomly want to walk on all the different lines it's a bit tricky I do the best I can everything <laughs> for the channel people walking 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 so yes here you can go up to Clara Bay's viaduct and that's where I was before so now we are in the main hall of Central Station I feel a bit like a tour guide today. Yeah, people, if you look to the left, you won't see much on the right. That's the only thing that I know for sure. So here, this is in here you can buy tickets for, you know, the hop on, hop off bus, ask questions about hotels, you know, all your typical tourist questions. In here, here we have the meeting point. 
which is also for Stockholm people known as the spitting gap because they used to be kids that found it funny to spit down here for the people walking beneath it but that's more a thing that's still stuck from like the 80s and 90s you know the spitting gap here I've never seen next one someone spitting that will be a disgrace actually if you sp start spitting here all right so let's check this out here there's a little seating area here Oh, we can quickly go out and check but then you can kind of see where we were up before with the birds view let's go out see so now we're back under here so just about 10 minutes ago we're walking up there see here we got the taxi stand the fountain and again now I have to pee because of the fountain thank you fountain so here you can kind of see where we are Stockholm City Hall over there the old town kind of over there and here we have Nils Eriksson if Olaf would be here he would tell me all about Nils Eriksson but to be honest, I have no clue, so let's go back in. If you want to feel like a beer, you can go there, O'Larry's. But you know, you know what I'm gonna say, better somewhere else. All right. So let's check out the main departure screen here. So here we can see in one big area, if your train has a little delay. See, cool. And of course, the big clock. Let's just have a, let's check out the a little example of the trains here on the train tracks little doggy all right i don't know which where this train is going oh yeah this is the train to malmo and copenhagen See, these, this is the international train, a very long one actually. Check it out. I don't know where I end up if I go here to the right. Can I even go to the right here? I don't know people what happens if I go here do I get back at uh, our Lambda Express or <laughs> did they just get lost at Central Station oh wait. anyway this is the train to Malmö to Denmark yay I'm back <laughs> I'm back here okay cool so don't do what I just did walking in a circle <laughs> or at least you know where we are now that's good okay let's go back in here can I oh yeah cool okay 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 I'm back I actually had to go down the escalator anyway here so okay so now you've seen the tracks from going to Sweden on the upper level let's go down one level <laughs> So remember, upper level Sweden, level down Stockholm. Here we've got some more lockers. 
And here we've got the toilets, people. You can see it very big in the sign here. Toiletter is the main toilet building here. And it's in here. I think I've mentioned it before. But in here, this is very good is toilets, but you can also take showers here. See, if you go in here, see it's very big. They have more than 20 toilets. But here you can see the sign also. See, you can shower as well. I'm not going to go in there. That will be a bit weird, but yeah. And over here we got the lockers and everything. So yeah, it could be nice to fresh up. They even have towels, uh, shower gel, shampoo, everything you want. So if you take a night train and you feel all weird and disgusting, <laughs> go freshen yourself up. So here we've got a relatively big supermarket in Central Station. It's better than just those small presbyton. Here they actually have fruit and veggies. So if you want to do some, some proper shopping, go in here. Again, it's of course a little bit more expensive than you're used to in a normal supermarket. But yeah, you know, that's what to expect at Central Station. See, now we're underneath the so-called spitting gap. Where the, the spitting gap where no one is spitting, I hope. So let's walk to the metro now. Metro and and train. A lot of shops here, you know, many options for buying coffee and things like that. So I should get ready my metro card. Yeah, so someone asked me the other day um, and was asking, hey Daniel, what's with the green card, the blue card? Yes, so at this point Stockholm is changing the system to a more advanced public transport card which has a better connection um, to the app. Uh, basically you don't need any card anywhere, you can just scan the app or your phone or whatever, or your smartphone. But anyway, they're changing the blue card to the green card, but the blue card is still working. So I'll show you, let me get it on my wallet. Oh, sorry. Yes, so this is the blue card. It's called the, X the SL, Stockholm Landstrafik Access Card. And um, yeah, there's few options for this card. You can have a month card, three month card, year card, um, but you can buy single trips as well. And they work on these machines. So for example, when I do like this, let's check it out. It says here, hold it, access card. Okay, hop, you hold it. And then it says here, uh, my card goes out on the 22nd of September. So I can, it says buy a new ticket. It doesn't say in English, okay, it doesn't matter. And then you can just buy separate tickets or, yeah, things like that. So yeah, this is the card and this is how to charge it. It takes Visa, Maestro, American Express, all the good stuff. So here I can go out. Um, so yeah, Metro, let's go in. So basically once we pass these ones, we at Tia Central and the central station for the subway. All right, step one, the green line. Metro 17, 18 and 19 southbound as they would say in london oh this is gonna be a long video people it's all good fun i hope you're enjoying yourself maybe this is super boring i don't know maybe nobody wants to see a full tour of central station but i'm kind of enjoying it i think that's my autistic side people <laughs> i'm loving this all right, so now straight away we get here to the green line and the red line. So it's the red line towards Rupstien and Merby Centrum. And the other side, Metro 17, 18 and 19. To the south, passing Slussen and Gomersplan. Basically you can see it here.
So see, now you can see clearly the difference between Tia Centralen, which is the metro central station, and Stockholm City, which is the commuter rail central station. It's basically two different stations in one building on different levels. But because I always get confused, I just call everything central, Stockholm central, whatever. It's all the same building, people, it doesn't really matter. So yeah. Okay, where shall I go now? Let's walk to the end of the platform here. Um, so if I go one floor up here, let's see where I end up there. So you can see all these uh, metro lines have numbers. Right, let's go one floor up, which is the green line and the red line in the opposite direction. I like the colors here, they shift as well. It's all fun. All right, so the top floor of the metro we are right now, which is here, red line, Norsborg and Fruengen. And the other side, more like northwest. It's more west than north, actually, I think. Maybe I said something really stupid right now. Not sure. So yeah, this is as high you can get. Because if you go up here, let's do that. We're ending up at Sago Story all the way on the far end of the central station. So basically, we walked as far as you can go now. From the bus terminal, through the hole, to Sago Story. So in terms of the length, We've walked it all now. The only thing we still have to do is go down into the basement on the bottom floors where we have the blue line, which is the deepest uh, metro line and also the new train station, Stockholm city. See, so now we're on top, which is good here because here, um, I don't think I should go out here because then I have to and maybe my card is not working if I go straight in. But anyway, Sergo Story is over there, right? Well, actually, let's go out, why not? We'll find out how we to get back in. Let's go out here. All right, so... You've got some shops again. Um, from here, you can walk to Drottninggatan the old town, etc, etc. And here, this is also quite handy. When you have problems with your card, right? With your uh, Stockholm card. You can go to the customer service here. Quite handy. Oh, I needed a bit of fresh air. Woo. Lovely city theater. And the Stockholm pigeons. This is a special breed of pigeons, folks. Nice. Shall I scare them a bit? Nah. No need. Hey, look at them. Enjoying life. Eating the remains of Max Burgers. Getting all fat. Fatty pigeons. Can't blame them, right? If I would be a pigeon, I would be eating. <laughs> all the time as well non-stop eating all right actually i'm also doing that as an adult not just all right let's go back in let's go to the downstairs basically the bottom floors <laughs> Let's see where I can scan my card. Because sometimes when you go out and in, it says like, oh, you have to wait or something. I don't know. I don't know why that is, but if you take a different gate, then it works.
Oh, and we're back in. Okay, let's go to the blue line downstairs. Let's take a different escalator. Or let's look on the big uh, map first so you get an idea of all the lines and the things you got. It looks a bit complicated, but it's not that. It's not that difficult, to be honest. So here you can see blue line, red line, green line, pendle torque. Then you got the. Oh, yeah, you also got the. Um, the trams but let's do that another time let's go down let's not stare at maps boring see you can see how deep we're going now it's really deep it's the longest video I've done in a while actually quite cool I think this is always really good marketing these uh, when you go down you have nothing else to look at so you're like all right all right fedora 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 it's working <laughs> now now one uh, fedora is like a online ordering fast food kind of thing and now my brain goes like oh let's order hamburgers let's order pizza so yeah it's working When you get down here to the to the bottom levels, you actually feel it's getting colder. Like the blue line is much colder is it because it's basically a cave, right? And even the acoustics change. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but it's more like echoey here. And straight away you can see the artwork here. You know, it's called the blue line for a reason. It's all blue here. I'm so sure that once I upload this video, people are gonna tell me, oh, but Daniel, you missed this and you missed that. And so, yeah, it's almost impossible to do everything here at Central, but yeah, I think you still get a good impression. So you can see here, the trains look way less modern as well. Um, let me just check it out. It's a completely different vibe. See, this is more old school. Looks so nice. So yeah, what I wanted to say is that I probably forget, I'm probably forgetting some kind of corner of Central Station, but yeah, I don't know, I do the best I can. So now you can see also at the signs, it says Tia Central. I mean, look at the design here, check it out. I'm loving this so we've done the bus terminal we're walking in the metros we've seen the commuter trains and the trains within Sweden so there's only one left which is Stockholm City um, the deepest level let's do this it's the newest one it took them years to complete this but it's finally done See, we're going even deeper. We should be like 40, 50 meters under underground right now. And this is the one I take to go back to Solentuna. So I always go to the bottom floor. Bottom floor, that's maybe the ground floor. I'm not sure. Can you say bottom floor? Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, you know what I mean. By the way, you can also just take the elevators. It's way faster. But usually the elevators are like taken. Cool. So the last but not least, Pendle Torg. So where how do I get home from here? So yeah, so the next train goes in four minutes to Uplands Vasby slash Solna which is also where I have to go because Uplands Wesby is here and I live in Solentuna. <laughs> so basically that's where I'm going. So we're almost done with this full tour here of Central Station. I hope you enjoyed it.
Yeah, look how lovely this looks. It's a bit of the same style as um, Oudem Plant Station, which I also like. As we all know, I'm not a big fan of modern art and buildings, but this is an exception. I really love this. So here, this is perfect. Here you can see exactly the different levels, right? This is great to round up this video. So we got the ticket hall, Sego Story, Vasa Gautan Central Station, one floor down, green and red lines, even down, blue lines, and even lowest commuter trains. So let's t take down the last escalator. Am I missing my train? That's the question. Oh, there's another one in nine minutes, so it's so good. So I can either take the one two plus Vasby or the one to Mashta. Right, question of the day, people. How many escalators did I take in this video? Come on, give me the answer. You have to be crazy enough to watch this video once again. 41 minutes. Who's crazy enough to count the escalators? Let me know. The one that knows and says it right gets a shout out in the next video. Let me know. Yay, I made it. Uplands Vesby. Alrighty, people. That's it. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow on a new adventure. Bye-bye.